So in the past, I used to say, just put dummy, but do you want to know what the other things do? Hello everybody, it is me, Mozart Minecraft, and today we are going to be working with criteria. For those of you wondering, criteria are the things when you type storeboard, objectives, add, whatever you type, and then all of this, where you normally put dummy, well, you can put all these other things, and each one has a specific function. If you played around with this a little bit, you'll notice that there are these, then there's a whole bunch of killed by teams, followed by a whole bunch of Minecraft. If we go to the bottom, we see XP, trigger, total kill count, some team kills, and then even more Minecrafts. And for this video, we are going to divide the criteria into two categories, statistic and action. Each one of the criteria that is by itself is statistic. Each one that starts with Minecraft, team kill, or killed by team is action. We'll quickly go over statistic. So if we type storyboard, objectives, add, and then we can type whatever we want. Let's say Mozart MC. And then we have air, which tests for how much oxygen you have. Air ranges from zero, meaning no bubbles, and 300, meaning 10 bubbles. And when drowning, it goes down to negative 20 before you take damage. Armor, which tests for how many armor points you have, with a maximum value of 20 with full diamond or netherite armor. Death count refers to the number of times you have died. Dummy, which does nothing. Food, which tests for how full your hunger bar is, up to a maximum of 20. Health, which tests for how full your health bar is. Level, which tests for your current experience level. Total kill count refers to the number of entities or players that you kill. And XP, which tests for how many experience points, not levels, but points, you currently have. Note that the number of points does not exactly reflect the number of levels. It more accurately reflects the score you see on death. When we spawn, it is reset. And there's one more called Trigger. This one has to do with the slash trigger command. Basically, the way this works is even with the lowest command permissions, you can type slash trigger, and then the objective you want to trigger, for example, Mozart and C, and how many you want to add, and then let's say this amount, it can be negative, or set to set it to a specific amount. And now let's move on to action. There are nine different categories for action criteria. Broken, crafted, custom, dropped, killed, killed by, mined, picked up, and used. Broken tests for when a specific item is broken. For example, if the criteria is Minecraft broken, Minecraft iron pickaxe, you'll be given one point for that objective when you break an iron pickaxe. Crafted will give you a point every time you craft a specific item. For example, if the criteria is Minecraft crafted, Minecraft beacon, you will get a point every time you craft a beacon. We're going to go over custom later. For now, let's go over dropped. This one will activate every time you drop an item. For example, Minecraft dropped, Minecraft obsidian will activate every time you drop obsidian. The next one is killed. This one will give you a point every time you kill an entity. Note that for it to count, the final blow must be dealt directly by you. If the mob dies to fall damage, lava, a dog, etc., it will not count. And now for killed by, this one activates every time you are killed by a specific mob. For example, Minecraft killed by Minecraft Dolphin activates every time you are killed by a dolphin. Next we have Mind. This one tests for whenever a block is mined. For example, Minecraft Mind Minecraft Bedrock will increment every time you break a block of bedrock. And now Pick Up. This activates every time you pick up an item. For example, Minecraft Picked Up, Minecraft Diamond activates every time you pick up a diamond. And now, Used. This one's a bit more complex, but basically, when an item is used, this includes anything such as placing a block, using a tool, eating food, drinking a potion, feeding an animal, throwing a projectile, right-clicking with a tear or warp fungus on a stick, and some other things as well. For example, Minecraft Used, Minecraft Apple will activate every time I eat an apple. And finally, custom. So this one's a bit more complex, but if we just go into the command and do whatever we want, let's say obsidian volcano, and then go to minecraft.custom. 
Most are pretty self-explanatory. You can go through to them to see what they do, but I'm just gonna go through a few of these. Animals bred will give you one point for every pair of animals bred, so don't count on getting two points for breeding two sheep. Aviate means flying with Elytra, and note that for everyone that says one centimeter, that means traveling a hundredth of a block. So traveling one block equals 100 points. Anything with clean means removing dye using a cauldron. Climb one centimeter means climbing a ladder or vines. For anything with damage, one half heart means 10 points. Damage absorbed means the amount of damage absorbed by the absorption effect, such as from golden apples and totems. Damage resisted means the amount of damage you resisted taking because of the resistance effect, such as from enchanted golden apples or potions of the turtle master. Fly one centimeter means moving through the air. This does not necessarily need to be flying in creative mode, it could be from sprint jumping for example. Anything with inspect means looking inside. Anything that starts with inspect or interact with means going into the block. And the same goes for anything with open. Pig, one centimeter, means riding a pig. Play record means playing a music disc. Play time means how much you've played in ticks. One second equals 20 points. Sneak time means how much you were sneaking in ticks. Target hit refers to shooting a target block. Time since rest refers to the amount of ticks since your last rest, meaning the last time you slept in a bed. Walk on water means walking in the water with your head above the water. Walk underwater means walking while completely under the water. And for those last two, swimming or using sprint in the water does not count. And instead, you will use swim one centimeter. And the rest you can experiment with by yourself, but I'm not going to go over every one of these in one video. And you can also manually set the values of these, just like you can do with anything set to dummy. Well, that's gonna be it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you learned some very valuable information on Criteria. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, comment, share the video, do whatever you can, because this channel is still too small for comfort. And until next time, this is Mozart Minecraft, signing out. Goodbye, Obsidian Volcano. <laughs>